All right. I've been down on the river for approximately, well, let's see, day after tomorrow will be two weeks that I've been down here straight on the river. I haven't, haven't really done anything but fish. Um, while I've been down here, I've been posting various pictures of Facebook and Instagram and whatever else that other social media to put up. And the, the questions I've been getting are uh, what line I'm using. Now, the line I'm using is called Striker Force. It's 40 pounds monofilament. And it's purchased from Cabela's, but I've never been able to get it in the store. I've always just ordered it from the store. So the one thing I like about it is, is the color. Because whatever you're fishing icicle or we're out in the Columbia, uh, the one thing that I think I find most important is being able to see your line. Knowing where your line is, knowing where your fish is at, and uh, other people that are fishing really close that like to cast over you, even though they still see your bright line. Well, uh, it has really good memory. That's one thing I like about it. Uh, I just fell in love with the memory of it when I'm tying stuff. Uh, the second, I guess that was one of the questions that I asked. The other thing I guess I was asked was how am I tying my hooks down here? The length, the leader, I'm not trying to, going to get it into a two hour session about that, but this is about the length. I always try to stay about this 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 far apart. I don't know what it is, three feet maybe for now. Whenever you're doing your tying your hooks, it's always, always good to have your leader, uh, whatever it is, longer in case you want to cut it down instead of shorter and then have to retie your hooks. So the other question that I was asked recently was how do I tie a hook? Uh, how do I do them? Down here on the Columbia, we're allowed to have double hooks. The hooks that I'm using are Gamagachus. These are the best. You might as well save up and get a couple of packs of Gamagachus and not lose a fish compared to buy 20 packs of something else and changing them out and then losing fish all the time. Maybe after hitting rocks or uh, catching one salmon and then the next thing it's dull and you're losing them. So I always stick with Gamagachus. Now, when we're tying our hooks, uh, I'll go through the eye and I'll leave a little tail at the end. And then I'll go back to my knuckle and go around the eye. So I'll go around, I always go about to the middle of the hook. The sizes of the hook are three aughts. I find that, that they're, I'm more successful with hooking them with both my hooks. When I use three aught four, I always find they're a little too big and the jacks kick them out a lot, a lot more or the smaller fish do. Now I'm gonna go around my finger and go right back where I left. And you can use your pinky and others and your other fingers to keep your line in check. Make a triangle and just push it through. Now once you do the, that one, you can cinch it back down to where you feel comfortable. And then use your middle finger to make your triangle and then push it through. And then you'll, uh, six or seven times, whatever. And then you'll cinch it up like this. Now I'll leave a little tail because when the salmon bite, they will stretch it and pull it out. So it's important you leave that little tail. All right. Our neighbors, they have their bell happy over there. So every time you think there's a fish on. Now I'll run it back through the eye and then this will be my first hook. All right. Now we're running doubles on them. So We'll run it back through the eye again and then all the way down you know you'll want it nice and snug from the back of the first hook and then repeat the process like it's not there and just go around I don't know eight or nine times I like my I like my hooks looking really tight like professional because that's kind of how I feel like they are tied people will come and buy them from the stores, just kidding. But I have had people want to buy them. Now, I'll gauge it by how much I want and then I'll cinch it back down again. And then I will run it back through the eye again, with the second eye. And then I will have my, my double hook. All right, let's see how tight it is and how crystal clear it looks. It was a photo. 
Now the next question I've been getting is asked frequently, what is cheaters? And, uh, what do they look like? What, what colors are you using? Uh, try to answer some of the questions that have been getting asked. I'm using my pink corky because that's what we've been hammering them on today. We've been very successful on pink, like a hot pink. So this is what a cheater looks like. And it's like a twist between a, a spinning glow and then, a, I don't know fat corky or something then I'll just run it through there so this is my setup what I've been using today this has been my success full setup now the next thing I want to do too is is that when we have when we tie these to our three-way swivel the water is really fast so what happens is when your your cheater is sitting there spinning all, all day if you're like me and don't check them very often then they start tangling up getting all tangled up so one of the things I try to do to, to reduce that is using my snap swivel like this and then it helps too when you want to change them out that you're not sitting there cutting it and retying uh, I'll go around I'll just do my regular fisherman's knot and then I'll go around and start back through uh, the base of it and I always, when I cinch it up, I always leave a little bit there. So when the fish bites it or it snags up, I don't lose my knot and it unravels. The other thing is too, is when you're down here, whenever you're fishing, always have fingernail clippers because the amount of cutting and tying that we're doing, you don't want to use your teeth and hurt your teeth and crack them or whatnot. So always have your fingernail clippers around your neck. So when I start seeing people running around with trying to tie hooks and use their teeth, I'm like, ooh. So now, the other thing is the swivels, the type of swivels I've been getting asked. Well, they're three-way swivels, but they are flexible. And I can't remember the size of them right offhand. Uh, they're bigger ones. The bigger ones, the better. All right? So then what we'll do is just snap it onto there. And then I'll run my sinker off and whatnot. But this is today's success. And I thought I'd make a little video to show everybody how I'm tying and what I'm using. So those are your cheaters. Oof. One thing to be aware of is when you're looking at your spinning glows, your cheaters, is that when they when you see them in one color, uh, they uh, like a brown and purple or red and yellow. Because when I start spinning, they change colors, so there'll be something different in the water when they're spinning compared to when you're looking at them in the store. So uh, there you guys go. I thought I'd do that up real quick for everyone. Happy fishing.